Hi my friends, welcome to another course where I'm going to teach you the motherboard voltages from the power jack along all circuits to the brain of the motherboard, the CPU. So when diagnosing a laptop motherboard, understanding the voltage path from the power jack to the CPU circuit is very critical. Because each circuit in the motherboard has a standard voltages that we will see right now. So let's get started. Please, if you are serious about improving your repair skills, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified for future videos like this one. And to be part of our family where I have over 1000 friends, you are very welcome. All links in the description. Also, you're gonna find in the description the link for a full article in my website about all what we have discussing in this video. So please make sure you stay tuned and do not miss any moment if you want to maximize your chance of understanding this code. So guys, let's connect the adapter right now. Basically for this motherboard, we have an extension. We don't have the power jack direct, directly, we have a cable extension. Now the motherboard is powered. So guys, the first stage is the DC jack and the battery connector. This is the circuit, the charge circuit. What we have to check here is 90 volts. And the most important component here are the DC jack, the MOSFETs or switches and the charge IC. So let's check 19 volt. We can check 19 volt directly here in this pin. As you can see, we have 19 volt in the multimeter or we can check it here in this inductor or even in the MOSFET here. Okay. So in this stage, guys, what you have to pay attention is 19 volt should be reached to this MOSFET and pass to the second side. And also it should be reached to this MOSFET, as you can see. Basically, this MOSFET is for the battery connection. And also what you have to check is the 19 volt in the charge circuit. One of the ceramic capacitor should hold 19 volt. Here we have five volt for VCC, this one. We have five volt to boot, this one. We have 19 volt. Okay guys, because the working voltage, the voltage necessary for this IC to work is 19 volt. We have it in this, uh, in the ceramic capacitor plus the VCC over here. Those basically are inputs. So remember guys, in this circuit, we conform to tests. 19 volt reach and pass through the first MOSFET and also we conform 19 volt in the charge circuit. So in the second stage, guys, we gonna check the battery connector or the battery circuit. So very easy. So if we check guys here in the middle, this one, we have 3.3 volt, 3.3 volt, 3.3 volt. This is the most important means to battery since lines that equal to 3.3 volt are in good state. So this basically controls charging but also powers standby circuits, even without a battery connected. In the third stage, guys, we have to check the standby power generation, 3 volt always and 5 volt always. So here, basically, we have two inductors, duplicated channel, as you can see, we have 3 volt, 5 volts control IC, we have inductor capacitor, inductor capacitor, means this is 3 volt, 5 volt circuit. If we check this inductor, we have 3.3 volt. This one, we have 5 volts. So this to do here is confirm presence of 3.3 volt 
and five volt. You can of course use this test point here we have five volt and also this point here we have 3.3 volt or you can use also the positive terminal of the ceramic capacitor or electrolytic capacitor we have 3.3 volt here also we have 5 volt means the 3.3 volt and 5 volt is good the same guys for this control ic it should get a 19 volt but we find 3.5 volt means 100 percent it received the 19 volt if we check this capacitor we have 3.3 volt let's check this one for example we have 5 volt for vcc this one 5 volt this one 2 volt this is for clock this one we have 19 volt okay guys so 19 volt also is very important and very mandatory for this ic as the charge ic of course guys you can ask me where is the regulators the voltage regulators or mosfets in the back exactly of the circuit we can find here mosfets let's check as you can see guys we have four mosfets of course here we have inductor this is the input we have 19 volt those also are in the input if we check here this side we have 19 volt in these three ceramic capacitors as you can see so guys the fourth stage is the super io or the east io so the ic that is responsible for all the circuits okay for the power in the motherboard in in the entire motherboard okay we have the super io next to charge circuit and next to 3.3 volt and of course next to the bios and pch how we can check whether this ic is good or not just by checking this ceramic capacitors around it as you can see if we check the ceramic capacitors around it of course it's not all ceramic capacitors but the majority of ceramic capacitors about 90 percent we find 3.3 volt means the inputs and outputs are good so guys thank you very much i hope that you understand this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe and join me in my patreon page for more unique content down now schematics and more and also you can visit my website for more articles about hardware repair, troubleshooting dead motherboards, no power motherboards, no data motherboards, tips and tricks, etc. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.